All right, Madison, Wisconsin. Just landed, got some fuel, and now it is starting to rain, so let's get in the airplane and get going. I'm a former Air Force pilot with over 1,000 hours in the F-16. Today, I run a medical equipment business and use my private jet to visit customers or travel with my family and friends. I video some of those flights and share them here. My name is Greg, and this is my YouTube channel. Okay. All right, get the engine started and then uh, give clearance a call, get my clearance. I'll be on my way. This is a battery start. So once I start one engine, I gotta bring the generator online for that engine and recharge the battery. Operations in effect, no Airman, taxiway Juliet and Bravo north of Mike closed, taxiway Mike sign south of runway 21 missing, runway 32 hold position sign at runway 18 right side missing, runway 21 rails out of service, advise under contact, you have Oscar. Okay, here comes the stall warning system check, it's a stick shaker left side. Shaker right side. This is the pusher. There we go, okay. Madison Clearance, Premier 390 Golf Mike. Premier 390 Golf Mike, Madison Clearance. It's gonna be a full route clearance to any exec advisor when you're ready to copy. Okay, pin in hand, I'm ready, Zergolf Mike. Premier 390 Golf Mike, cleared to the Indianapolis Executive Airport via direct weights, Whiskey, Alpha, India, Tango, Sierra, direct Northbrook, Oscar Bravo Kilo, J84, uh, Wordy, Whiskey, Oscar Romeo Delta Yankee, the Victor Hotel Papa 311 radio to Jax, Juliet Alpha Kilo Kilo Sierra, Victor Hotel Papa, and then direct. On departure, climb and maintain 5,000. I expect flight level 3501 zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 120.1, squawk 4, direction squawk 3133. 390 Golf Mike, it's a weight. Northbrook J84 Wordy. The uh, Brickyard 311 radial to Jax. Then Brickyard, then direct, 5,000 initially, 350 is a final, 120.1, 3133 is a squawk. Premier Zero Golf Mike, read that correct. Okay, so let's get that entered. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So I knew I was going to get something kind of goofy. Flight plan, got that called up. We're going to go to Wordy. Why? Then we're going to go Northbrook. Then we're going to go J84. So watch this. We've got to enter the route over here. There's the uh, airway. So it starts at Northbrook, J84, and then we got to tell it where we're going to jump off at. We're going to jump off at Waits. No, we're jumping off at Wordy. Okay, so I may have screwed this up already. Uh, yeah, I screwed this up. Four five nine Quebec, left close traffic approved. Okay, so Waits, Wordy, Northbrook, J84. Wait, 
Northbrook, J84, Wordy, Jax, put DHP, execute. So let's see what that looks like. Top four go. <coughs> okay, 5,000 initially. Here we go, 121.9. So. Warrior 59 Quebec, runway 18, cleared for the option. Madison Grand Premier 390, Golf Mike Taxi, with Oscar. Premier 390, Golf Mike, Madison Ground, would you like to back taxi runway 21 from Mike or taxi to 18? How about the back taxi on 21, 390, Golf Mike? Premier 0, Golf Mike, Roger, runway 21, taxi via Mike. 21 via Mike, 390, Golf Mike. Okay, so ground cannot clear me to taxi onto the inactive runway, so I'm going to have to switch over to tower and tell him I'm ready for takeoff. Then he's going to allow me to back taxi on runway 21, so I'm going to turn right and go backwards to taxi to the end. Madison Tower, Premier 390 Golf Mike, holding short of Mike, runway 21, we are ready. Premier 390 Golf Mike, Madison Tower, runway 21, back taxi, line up and wait. 390 Golf Mike, runway 21, back taxi, line up and away. So, the departure frequency, 120.1, let's get that set up in here, let's get something useful called up there. Okay, V1, 106, rotate 111, initial climb at 124, lapse 10. Up four, I think. Runway 21 is 7,200 feet long, plenty of room. Warrior 500, come back, make left, close traffic, extend your downwind, I'll call your base. Left close traffic, uh, extending our downwind, no call to base, warrior two and five banner, Quebec. There is an arresting cable that's in the ground there. We're grabbing a tail hook off of an F-16, I would assume. I think they used to have Vipers up here. Maybe they still do, I don't know. So a little room here to swing it around. Premier Zero Golf Mike, flight runway heading, runway 21, clear for takeoff, wind 18011. 390 Golf Mike, clear for takeoff, runway 21, runway heading. Okay. Here we go. Climbing away, gear up, yaw damper on. Got one notch of flaps to go here. Ops four, Roger. Uh, hold short of runway one eight for now. Comes the flaps. 
Some F-16s down there, so yep, F-16s. Oh, nice view, Max. Premier Zero Golf, Mike, turn left, direct, weights, contact, departure, good day. Left turn, direct, weights, going to departure, Zero Golf, Mike, good day. Warrior 5 Niner, come back. Departure Premier 390 Golf Mike, 2200, climb into 5000. Premier 390 Golf Mike, Madison, departure, radar contact, come maintain 7000. 7000, Zero Golf Mike. Zero Golf Mike, traffic at your 1 now 2 o'clock. I'm maneuvering Cessna at 7600. Zerg off Mike, we're looking. About a mile off your right. Memo 33 traffic about a mile north of you is a Premier Jet 5500 for 7000 East Mouth. Memo 33 traffic in sight, sir, we'll maintain the visual separation. Zerg off Mike, I maintain 10, 10,000. Up to 10,000, Zerg off Mike, with the traffic in sight as well. Zero Golf Mike, contact Chicago Center, 133.3, have a good day. 333, Zero Golf Mike, good day. Chicago Premier, 390 Zero Golf Mike, 7.7, 7, climbing 10,000. Number 390 Zero Golf Mike, Chicago Center, climbing flight level 350. Flight level 350, Zero Golf Mike. Oh, yeah, 390 Golf nice. Mike, I'm showing you in moderate precipitation extending for the next 30 miles or so. Roger, Zero Golf Mike. Yeah, a little bit of rain here. See off my nose. I don't think it's that bad. Convoy 4123, Chicago Center, resume normal speed. Climbing camp at level 230. It's pretty bright. This is a pretty thin layer of uh, clouds. Highway 4942, Chicago Center, climb and maintain 15,000. Coming through 18,000 feet. My climb check. Okay, you're supposed to be coming out at 250. Uh, resume normal speed for now, maintain 17,000. Convoy 4123, connect Chicago Center 133.2, good day. Alright, that was for Envoy 4123 only, Envoy 4123.133.2. Thank you. Number 390, Golf Mike, here, Direct Jack. Direct Jack, Zero Golf Mike. So that's the way it works. And with 4942, climb and maintain at level 190, resume normal speed. I entered in all those, I did such a crappy job entering in all those waypoints, and now basically I used two of them. 5558, climb and maintain at level 230. Not that I'm complaining. And there's 390 Golf Mike, whatever you have, give it, uh, give it a chance to give me a capacity report on that. Okay, we're not there yet. Zerg off mic. Climbing through uh, 23,000. Still uh, cannot see the tops of the clouds here. Just showing up as a light return on my next rad here. It's not even showing up on my radar. It indicates to me that it's very light, which is why I was not uh, the least bit concerned about flying into it. I don't know if y'all noticed, but boy, there is just not a lot of traffic, not a lot of airline traffic. This airspace is usually quite busy, Chicago, and it is darn near silent. Chicago, Premier, 390 Golf Mike, flight level 250 is the tops. And uh, 390 Golf Mike, thank you for that. And just light turbulence through there, that was it. Okay, thanks. Well, I had a nice view of Chicago coming up. Kind of doubt that's going to be repeated on my way down here. It was 3530, Chicago Center Roger. 
Sky was 3360 plus 25 miles west of Badger at and maintain 11000. So if you look at the uh, PFD here, I'm in FMS, which is navigation mode. So navigation mode is right there. See how that's looking. Three nine zero Golf Mike, I'm on the altitude, making that level three three zero. Five level three three zero, Zergoff Mike. Three nine zero Golf Mike, and I should have the center on one one eight point two two today. Eighteen twenty two, Zergoff Mike, we'll see ya. Circus sixty five fifteen zero six, cross Hosa, five level one nine zero. Okay, let's try this again. So, nav mode right there. This is my altitude pre-selector. I just dialed that so I could get flight level three three zero here. Chicago Premier 390 Golf Mike 283 climbing flight level 330. 390 Golf Mike, Chicago Center, hello. Howdy. The autopilot is on. It's being controlled by the person on the left hand side here. It's in navigation mode. I'm like in flight level change. Level two zero zero. Which is up here. Flight level change. So it will climb at an airspeed. It will climb at 0.61. I can change that airspeed right here by turning this knob. I just change it to 0.62. We're climbing up to flight level 330. We're climbing at 1,300 feet a minute. 0.62 Mach is what I have set. We're indicating 0.614 right now. So across- Mike, 33 is gonna be the final for uh, your destination. I'll take you down to 29 here in a couple minutes anyway. Yeah, not a problem, Zerg off Mike. Some whiskey hotel. So, uh, across the top here is engine instruments. In the middle is your navigational data. Going back to the top. So, I get a lot of questions about this. So, N1, which is the big fan on the front of the engine, the big uh, turbine on the front of the engine, that you can see from the outside, it is 104.4. So, that is your max continuous thrust number, 104.4. You can see the computer has figured that out. Again. Why that's 104.4 and not 100%? Total 559, I have Congress no idea. It's a digitally generated signal anyway, so they could, whatever that thing is spinning at right now, if it's spinning at 42,000 RPM or whatever, they could recalibrate that to 100%. But. I, I don't know why they've done it that way. It's 178, Chicago Center, hello. 104.4, so maybe somebody from Williams is watching this and will be able to explain that. The N2 is 92.9, .9. fuel flow is 560 aside, roughly. Oil pressure and oil temp you can see there, fuel temp you can see. And the, uh, the hot section is, there's the temperature there. Uh, these, these numbers will never really match up. I, uh, identically from side to side. There's just too much variation in gauges and, and things. So uh, as long as everything's close, it's good. If it's in the green or white, it's fine. If it's yellow, it's in a cautionary zone. If it's red, it's bad. On start, the max temp is 1,005, which is pretty high. We get a lot of comments about that too. It won't go up to 1,005, but it gets it gets up above 900. Clear wings 1906, contact Cleveland Center on 134.65. See ya. Okay, 33,000 feet. Got our checks done. Cruising along here, life is good. Nobody in the back of the airplane. Somebody that I know of, at least. Short little flight back down to Indy. About uh, 39 minutes. About 900 pounds of fuel. Convoy 4942, contact Chicago 12127. 21 Let's take a look at the overhead panel. So overhead, we've got a, a master test, or a bit check. They call it, but a master test Let's function. Zergoff Mike, it's going to maintain flight level 290. Flight level 290, Zergoff Mike. Okay, so here, let's take a look. Go to 566. Flight level 290, so I can come over here and dial down this. 29. Now, the airplane won't move because it doesn't know how to go down to that altitude. So I'm going to come over here and hit vertical speed. I'm going to push the nose down. 
1,000 feet a minute, that little blue arrow, and the airplane will start to descend. Build at 2035, just going to maintain 1, 6,000. Altimeter O'Hare is 2, 9, -er, 9, -er, 9 -er. Okay, back to the overhead panel. Overhead master bit, master test, bit check. Got to get all those functions tested, and your panel will be cleared off, your caution panel. Caution panel right here. It'll be cleared off with just a couple lights left, waiting for me to turn on the uh, stall heat, install uh, and pedo heat systems. This is all interior lighting and the ever popular ding dong. And this is exterior lighting. So that's all the overhead and then these are rheostats to adjust the, uh, the panel lighting here at night. Well, we are between O'Hare and Midway. And unfortunately, could not see a darn thing on the ground. Weather back home is good. <coughs> Winds 230 at 3, 10 miles and clear, 17 degrees Celsius, 3005. Runway 18 or 36 in Indy. Runways correspond to their magnetic heading. So runway 18 points 180 degrees or south. Always land into the wind. 2035 contact Chicago Center 126.12. And Delta 2035 actually gave you the wrong one, 133.2. I don't know how I got into roll mode there. It's been when I was demoing something so for you guys. Off my contact Chicago Center 121.27. 2127, zero off my cadet. Today. Chicago Premier 390 Golf Mike 30.4 descending flight level 290. Premier uh, 390 Golf Mike Chicago Center, hello. Howdy. American uh, 1907, climbing level 380. Southwest 1958, cross Poogie at Okay, so that sound you just heard was the altitude alerter alerting the me that I'm within a thousand feet of my selected altitude. So as you recall, I said the altitude selector at 29,000 feet. When I came through 30,000 feet, you heard that one tone. That was the indication that I'm a thousand feet from my selected altitude. It's going to go from outs to out catch. It's going to capture the altitude here for me. There it is, out Chicago Center 119.22, good day. Ran into a uh, young man by the name of Andrew that was getting his, uh, working on his uh, commercial rating and then CFI. Thinks he wants to go to the 135 outfit, ultimately. Ran into him up here at the airport in Madison. Shout out to Andrew if you're watching, nice meeting you. If you haven't seen it, I have a video uh, that was released right before this one that was a FAQ. So I get a lot of the same questions over and over. So I shot a little video intro, about seven minutes long, that answered an awful lot of questions. The most common questions that I get. So if you haven't seen that, be sure to watch that. Automated weather observation 2, 0, 5, 7, Zulu, weather, wind, calm. November 0, Gulf Mike, descend and maintain flight level 240. Flight level 240, Zergo Mike. Okay, so once again, come over to the altitude selector, dial it down, flight level 240. I need to tell the airplane how I'm going to descend. I'm going to hit vertical speed, and I'm going to tell it what descent rate I want to descend at. And it's so doing, I need to retard the throttles a bit so I don't overspeed, overspeed the airframe. Okay, so it's calm wind, so I'm going to pull up a, a visual approach for runway 36. I'm going to make it a three mile final. I'm going to execute that. So that drops it in to the uh, FMS, into the uh, flight plan. And what that will do is give me basically ILS-type guidance to the runway, both vertical, vertical and lateral guidance, 
to the runway. If you've watched enough of my videos, you know that I always like to have some kind of guidance to a runway. <clears throat> if nothing else, just to back me up to make sure I'm landing at the right place. I can also come over here, get my landing data, so I can go approach. The winds are calm, so I don't have to enter anything. Enter in the temperature. So it's telling me that I need 3,200 feet to land. There's 5,500 available. And the ref speed's 115 knots. Now I can send that up to the FMS, or excuse me, to the PFD. So it is up here. It just lives in a, it just lives further down the airspeed scale. You can also see the VREF, VAP, which is the go around speed, is in there as well. November zero call, Mike, contact Chicago Center 135.75 today. 35750 golf mic, good day. Chicago Premier 390 golf mic, 26.3, descending flight level 240. November 390 golf mic, Chicago Center, low across the jacks at 13000, India altimeter 3003. Jacks at 13000, 003, golf mic. Okay, so he's giving me, seven, five, contact, quad, approach, giving me a crossing five, restriction. Five, he's giving me jacks. I need to enter 13000. Come over here, like that. Need to execute it. Now, what I can do is I can hit VNAV, take my altitude preselector down to 13,000, and now the airplane will go and follow a three degree glide slope down to get it. Now, I want to show you something. The snowflake is buried at the bottom of the screen, which means that I am high relative to my three degree glide slope. So I need to come on down and get that glide slope. I used the same method I just previously described to tell the airplane how to descend. Came up here at vertical speed and got the blue arrow there. So I've got it into the magenta. You can also come over here and see the bottom of descent arc is coming over the top of jacks at 13,000. So that's telling me that I'm going to hit jacks at 13,000. Sometimes you get a little bit of a late descent and you're going to be rushing to catch it. That was partially my fault because I was kind of lollygagging on the descent. But it was also a pretty tight crossing. So go ahead and get my descent checks here. Okay, coming over the top of West Lafayette, Lafayette, Indiana, home of Purdue University. We'll actually get to see the airfield and the campus and the campus as well. Sample like 2228, new rooting for you when you're ready to copy. Flight 22, uh, 28, just one fix. Uh, you're clear to the Toledo Airport via direct Kia Tone, which is Echo Ops for November Direct. And then Flight 22, 20, I'm sorry, you were set on. Say that, uh, to verify the reback Kia Tone uh, Direct. There's zero off my contact, Rockford Approach, 121.0. 121.0, zero, zero Zerg off Mike, see ya. Yeah, 65. Uh, what approach he was telling me to contact. Indy Premier 39 Zerg off Mike 15 4 descending 1 3000. I don't think that's a good change. Something pretty far north, it's about 5 miles in diameter. Chicago Premier 390 Golf Mike, what was that frequency? 121.0 for 0 Golf Mike. Okay. Andy Premier 390 Golf Mike. I don't think 1210 is a frequency over here. Chicago Premier 390 Golf Mike. Nobody's there on 1210. I'm sorry, I was on the line. Who was that? 390 Golf Mike again. 
Nobody was there on 121-0. Okay, let's try, um, well, I gave you the wrong one, that's my bad. 121.1. 1 1. Yeah, I thought that was an odd frequency, so, all right, talk to you later, sir. Go, Mike. See ya, thanks. Andy Premier 390 Golf Mike Jax at 13000. Premier 390 Golf Mike Andy Approach, then maintain 3000 by the uh, Visual Push Executive. Down to 3000, Zero Golf Mike. Challenger 3500. Now, what's Bravo funny is I actually had 121 in there. Because I thought that was the frequency we were going to. Okay, there's the airport over there. I'll tell you what. I'm going to cancel. Andy 390 Golf Mike, we're going to cancel the IFR and start heading to the airfield. 3-0 Golf Mike, cancel the IFR, see you at the top of the change by its frequency approved. We'll see you at 0-Golf Mike. The Yankees turning final, 3-6 and exact. Okie dokies, here we go. So the field is uh, on my nose about 15 miles out there. I'm going to enter on a downwind, left base to final, runway 36. Taxi right up to the overhang and shut her down, call it a day. Check the traffic, 2 2 Fox Whiskey, downwind for runway 36. Runway 29. I'm hoping that I kind of ball right and behind him and nobody else is going to take off and stay in the pattern. Executive traffic 66 when the Yankees departing to the northwest. The exact. Okay, good. So he's leaving. So we got Fox Whiskey. Executive traffic, Premier 390 Golf Mikes, 9 to the west. Planning a downwind entry runway 36. And executive traffic, Triple Nine Fox Whiskey is also out here to the west, or like three miles to the west at uh, 2000 maneuvering. 5A Papa Alpha left yeah. downwind to runway 27, ghosting. Executive traffic, 32 Fox Whiskey is turning left base for runway 36, executive traffic. Let's see if I can find the guy. Okay, there's the guy on base. Executive traffic, Premier 39 Zerg off Mike entering a left downwind 36. This guy taxiing out for departure on 36. Executive traffic, Sears 32 Fox Whiskey is on final for runway 36. See him. One notch of flaps coming out, gear coming down. And exit traffic sky on, uh, Jericho Fox back in front of 136 via Alpha and exit traffic. Executive traffic, Premier 390, Golf Mike, left base 36. One thousand. Executive traffic, Premier. Zerg off, Mike Turner, final three six, full stop. 
As if anybody had a question as to my intentions. Guess it's the military in me that uh, it makes me say full stop. That's probably pretty obvious to everybody. Okay, coming back on speed. You can see I got my guidance to the runway. It's just like an ILS. Downwind for runway 36, executive traffic. pounds of fuel. Well, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed riding along. Remember, you can follow me on Instagram at Premier One Driver. And if you want to support the channel, you can head on over to my website, PremierOneDriver.com. And get yourself a t-shirt, hat, sticker, border zip, hoodie, something. Anyway, I hope you all staying safe, and we'll see you on the next one. Indy exec, go command G9, forward to some pop straight out, uh, departing the area to the northeast, Indy exec. Check the traffic, 32 Fox Whiskey, left base for runway 36, executive traffic. Charlie has left that one for three seconds.